nematode worms, or roundworms, are one of the most abundant groups of animals on Earth, perhaps the most abundant. They are found in virtually all environments, but they are particularly abundant in aquatic ecosystems. They can reach populations of 1 million per square meter in the uh, benthic region of uh, freshwater uh, environments. And this is because of their extremely small size. Many are microscopic. They can vary, and so therefore individual nematode species can vary actually by several orders of magnitude. In aquatic ecosystems, nematodes have diverse ecological roles. So for example, they can serve as herbivores when they consume the cyanobacteria and green algae and the diatoms, which have performed photosynthesis and use sunlight to store energy in biomolecules. They function as detrivores when they help to decompose a dead material. So for example, if they ingest uh, bits of decomposing plant uh, matter. They are helping to recycle nutrients. They can consume living organisms from bacteria to fungi, and by fungi this would include microscopic yeast, the hyphae of uh, fungi or the spores of fungi. They can consume protozoans, and they can consume small animals, rotifers, small arthropods. Large nematodes can consume smaller nematodes. Although they are often thought of uh, in the role as potential parasites, and some are parasitic, this is uh, the minority of nematode worms. Since some nematodes could obviously ingest multiple types of food, then many are omnivores capable of multiple uh, ecological roles given here. Trying to fit the role of organisms as diverse as nematodes into a single ecological box would be difficult. So for example, uh, the following organisms can be predators of nematode worms, but other nematode worms may actually uh, feed on them. And so the following organisms can be both predators and prey. Fungi, oligochaete, rotifers, mites, copepods and other small arthropods, fly larvae such as the chironomans. This is because obviously there are different stages in life cycles. So some of these are smaller uh, uh, when their life cycle begins than they are later. And there is diversity within the group with some species being larger than others. Although nematodes are just barely visible to the naked eye or microscopic, some larger macroscopic predators can feed on them, including planaria, snails, and small fish.